Hi families, this is a tutorial on how to use the program called Prodigy. You will notice that on your well, your weekly engagement log in the Friday math, it says do Prodigy for 30 minutes. We are going to show you how to log your student in to Prodigy. So Prodigy is not a, an icon from their Clever Badge. So when they open their Chromebook, you will need to help them type in the web address. Once you type it in the first time, then it should easily populate for the students. You could even bookmark it for them. The website is play.prodigygame.com. And if I click on the star right here, then I can add it to my bookmarks bar. And then your student can easily access it. So what they'll do is they'll choose log in and they're going to log in with Google. Now, even though it has the Clever bad op Badge option, excuse me, we cannot use the Clever Badges for Prodigy at this time. So you will have to choose log in with Google. Now, when you do it on your child's Chromebook, only their email address should pop up. So I'm going to use a teacher address. Now it may ask them to enter in their password or it may have already populated for them. So once you've entered in the password, you're gonna choose, I want a new account. And you are going to be a student and you are going to create an account. It will ask you for a class code. Ask your teacher for the class code and type it here. This is the class code only for Mrs. Spangler and Mrs. Robinson's second grade class. Your teacher should have included your class code in the email that they sent out. So this is the class code only for Mrs. Spangler and Mrs. Robinson. What does your wizard look like? So you're going to choose a, a little avatar, a little character that you can change hairstyle, color, eye color. Are you playing from home? And or you're going to choose home? playing from home. Now, all these different worlds, eventually the kids will get to go to different worlds. So for now, you can pick any one of these. It doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna walk you through the very beginning so you can have an idea of what it will look like for your child. So your child will have, your child will have to pick out a nickname. So we call it a nickname because they might not see their name when they ask you to name your wizard. This is something that's a little bit different about this program. You don't have a spot, unfortunately, where you can type in your name. So we just like to call it a nickname. So you do have to choose from this list. You can pick any name that you'd like, even um, as the teacher will be able to see the student's name. So it doesn't matter. It won't mess us up. Um, so tell kids that they get to pick a fun nickname. So I'm going to pick a little nickname. And what you'll do is you'll have, they call them battles that you'll have. And that's where you'll actually answer the math questions. Now, we just wanted to let families know one last thing before we go, that the math in this program is adaptive, which means that it doesn't only give the students second grade math. It will begin giving them questions, and if they're too hard, then it will give them easier questions. If they're too easy, they will eventually give them harder questions. So we do ask that families do not help their student on Prodigy, just let them play, and Prodigy will adapt to what level they think the student will need. So you'll see that you have to answer these math questions in order to cast the spells. And your student just gets to move through the game uh, answering math questions. So please let us know if you have any questions about Prodigy 
Um, the students really enjoy playing this. So hopefully it will be fun for everybody. Please let your child's teacher know if you have any questions about Prodigy.